progressing through to the cup quarterfinal, and that's how we sit with Argentina against Scotland beckoning. Both on four points, Argentina edging it on the points difference. A key match. Yep, going to be a hit out of that. Actually, fancy Scotland really getting stuck into them. So Argentina, the Olympic bronze medalist, the team that have finished on the podium every round so far on the HSBC World Series. I start with Iskro, Schultz de la Vega, Rebel, the Maestra, Gonzalez, and Sabato. Jamie Farndale of Scotland on his 50th World Series event, captaining the side. All to play for for these two sides. And the Scotland team, while well, they've been wearing black armbands throughout the tournament, and they will not have a number three jersey for this final game, and that is in acknowledgement of the passing of the great Tom Smith. Not just a great rugby player, but a great rugby man lost too early this week and the Argentinian side also playing with emotion having lost Federico they've worn t-shirts in his honour we are ready there is rugby sevens to be played. There is a cup quarter final to be made. Argentina versus Scotland. Underway and a knock forward from a Scottish hand. Argentina in possession and looking lively. Running with purpose. Revol pulling the strings in the midfield. Good defence from Scotland, they've been strong so far today. Really good performance against the New Zealand Sevens. Might have felt that they should have achieved more so far on the series, certainly in Spain. Well, they have their moment now, although their backs are turned. And a treacherous kick has fallen fortunately for Argentina, who wrestle their way across. First blood to the Argentinians, it's Franco Sabato. Well, it's a crucial table top and clash, head to head matchup. The second touch was key, wasn't it? He got a nudge and then just used his momentum to get over the line. Nothing Farndale could do about it. Revolve almost curling that in but here's the moment here was the chase it was the boots from Sabato who missed both of the Dubai tournaments back in Singapore and enjoying himself Revol tests the Scottish kickoff reception once again and it's the same result the blue and white hoops of Argentina come away with it. Oh, but it is picked off. I thought there was a big, big moment. But the knock on from that attempted take from the kickoff, advantage was still being played. Argentina probably count themselves fortunate there, Gareth Reese. Wow, this is what's great about sevens. It's always on a knife edge. Great to see New Zealand back, who will top this pool seat. But teams always battling away. It's never over. Find one call, one bounce of a ball, Six. or one interception can change teams' fortunes over a weekend. So as it stands, Argentina in the box seat, and Argentina in possession, in attack, and it is the Goliath winger. Goodness me, how much strength does he have? Luciano Gonzalez, it's the bus that has created the room for Rodrigo Iscro to make it two tries in the opening moments of this winner-takes-all match. Well, 
awesome play from the Argentinians. And the deft of hand in the back line. And no surprise that it's the senior veteran, Revol, who will take this conversion. And look at he's angled that in beautifully. <laughs> Keeps it ticking over. So Revol, who made a sublime pass in that build-up, puts his team up by 12. No one claims that kickoff. Why? <laughs> On me. Open up. Well, Scotland started Open the day so Open well up. with that two-point victory over Wales. Just haven't been able to build on it. Well, first sighting, really, of Scotland in possession and able to build an attack. They're deeper in their half than they would have liked, and a lot of Argentinian jerseys swarming around, forcing risky passes. Scotland do well, and they find their man on the edge. No number in honour of Tom Smith. Jacob Henry. Good footwork from Ross McCann, distinctive with his headband. Scotland finding some rhythm. Play on. Play on from the referee. One of the Argentinian players trying to call forward, but the referee happy, and Scotland even happier as they dance down the touchline and get on the board. It's the half centurion, Jamie Farndale. Media response from Scotland. I'm not sure the Argentinians don't have a case on this pass being forward. Let's watch this one here. Yeah, pretty much. But play on and look at Farndale. Jumps, jumps, skips over that one. Crucially, just two minutes to play in this first half. Gets Scotland right back in the match. Good conversion as well. Jamie Farndale, 124 tries. Cometh the hour, cometh the Jamie Farndale usually for Scotland. Big try in the context of this match. Just trailing by five now. Knock on under the pressure of the blue defensive blanket of Scotland and the momentum's with them, the vibes are good. They tap and go early. A bit of trickery through the legs to keep the ball alive. Scotland under real pressure, but they've shown the invention to unlock the Argentinian defence. And quick as a flash, they're level. Kalim Barreto is the man celebrating. It was his magic there, tight to the touchline. And he was rewarded by picking it up, by getting himself back into the game and then storming through to the line. Well, at five foot six, he did it all. He kept the play alive and then he showed his pace. The go ahead conversion is good. So much to play for here. The winner of this match will go second in the pool behind New Zealand and Scotland's just jumped ahead. So where once Argentina was in second place, Scotland now sit pretty, although the lead is slender. Two points and the final play of the half. Brilliant win back from Jordan Edmonds. He helped himself to four tries in the opening match. How significant will they be as they edged out Wales? But Argentina, Argentina are a team that love to fight. They fight for every inch on the pitch. Ooh, the referee having deemed to have not taken the advantage back. <laughs> Scottish are frustrated there. And that is the halftime. Well, a slightly messy passage of play brings to the close a thrilling, gripping first half. And it's Argentina trailing Scotland 12 points to 14. Well, we've got business to attend to here between Argentina and Scotland first. 
Argentina taking that 12-point lead early in the first half, but Scotland biting back. That's why they lead by two. The winner of this progresses to the cup quarterfinals. It's all on the line. Gonzalez with a powerful run. That one's not four. This could be trouble. Yeah, he's had a look back. And he knows what he's going to see. There it is. That could be a decision. He will live to rue. A rush of blood to the head and a languid limb thrown out with no real hope of actually collecting the attempted interception. And it's a yellow card to Matt Davidson. Scotland down to six. Argentina with the numerical advantage and bullocking their way through the Scottish defence. They make it count immediately. And who else but Luciano Gonzalez? Felipe Del Mestra, I beg your pardon. Look wow. at this backing up, though. He's right in behind, and he comes up. He's here. He's screaming for the ball. Just lay it up. Pop it up, says Del Mestre. And he gets it. Really good awareness to run into the space. Well, he played a leadership role in Gaston Revol's absence in Malaga. And he's back to basics and scoring tries here, and a crucial one in this pool match. The conversion added. Argentina now leading by five points, just leapfrogging each other throughout the game. Tense, brilliant, classic Tackle seven one. stuff. Tackle! Release. <laughs> Scrawling oh. claiming the pen and they've got it. Good hyena instincts from Ross McCann. He saw it. He snapped on it. And he got possession back for the Scots. They they want it as much as they can, as we can see the yellow card ticking down. Final 20 seconds. Playing with six is one thing, defending with six is another. So the longer that Scotland can stay in possession, control the ball, they just need to get through this play and they'll be back to the full complement. I'm really impressed with Kali Barreto there, throwing the line out in. Some crazy finger action there. It's a bit like the old days when they used to wear gloves. The only guys who wore gloves are guys who couldn't catch. <laughs> He's got some sort of, I don't know, washing up gloves. With the fingers chopped off. There it is. It is an interesting look, but one that's worked so far. He's got himself a try. Very direct from Ross McCann. Very quick whistle there. McCann's going to be penalized. Oh, big hit coming in, well-timed, read it perfectly, and he's up again and trying to affect another. But it's in the hands of the most deadly man in South American sevens. The referee thinks it's a knock-on. Marcos Mineta is adamant that it is off his knee. He wants him to check it. It's off his foot, the second one, I think. Oh. That's why he wants him to check it. But it doesn't have the option, I suppose, because he didn't score. It's not a try or no try call, so a bit of a funny one there. A lucky escape for Scotland. Referee doesn't have the benefit of our crew giving us three angles. It could have been a tidier pickup. <laughs> could have been a tidier pickup from the World Set. Rugby Sevens player there, yeah, Marcos Moneta. Scotland continue with this direct, narrow game, trying to bring the physicality to Argentina, a team famed for their physicality. Farndale, the captain, looking to inject some impetus. A risky pass, but it finds Femi Sofalarin, and Femi Sofalarin is elusive. He's fast, but he's shackled before he can get out of his 22. Scotland in the hands of McCann. Loses it in the tackle at a key moment. Oh, his head in the grass. All right. Well, Scotland are back to full strength. Okay. Elms has to flick this one. He's in a man and ball situation, but not a lot of options. Well, so far, Aaron he tries to go on the outside. Well, Marcos Moneta was in the peripheral vision of Harvey Elms. 
Let's go. That's why he threw his hand at it to tap it onto Sofalar, but immediately Mineta was then upon him. Looks like Ross McCann has left the field injured in that exchange. And what a position for Argentina to launch an attack from. Set. We're all back on the field. Scrum is disrupted Strength for the moment. power from Scotland in the scrum. Argentina managed to salvage possession. Scrapping for everything, the Argentinians. Revol dictating things from first receiver, and it forces Luciano Gonzalez back in field, and he slips and wriggles free. Then puts his foot to the floor, and he celebrates, because he knows that's a big try. Oh, he's come up a bit late, but look at those eyes. He's totally obsessed with scoring tries. Look, he's looking up, scanning the defense, seeing what's available. In the end, he just keeps it. Luciano Gonzalez comes hard off the left foot. Well, is that the dagger that will sink Scottish hopes of getting to the cup quarterfinal? Yeah, yeah. Look at the intensity from the man. Oh. Small mercies for Scotland as Argentina hit the post. They still need two scores. They trail by 10. So we've got a bunch of ball on the field, mercifully for Scotland. That stops the clock. Oh, they need two scores. I'm not sure if that's the legal way to do it. <laughs> Time on. It's probably suiting Argentina, taking a bit of the blood, a bit of the passion out of the game, and Gaston Raval, like the old pro he is, punches a low one over all the Scottish players. And while it may be a dark blue throw, they're pinned back on their five metre line with the clock against them. It's almost an invitation, isn't it? Saying, Here you go, Scotland, you need to come 95 metres. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They'll have an eye on that clock, 38 seconds. They're thinking, can we get it to Sofalar and can he get to the other end of the field within 38 seconds? Well, they're not going to be able to if they give the ball back to the Argentinians and in the hands of Marcos Moneta, who's going skating around the Scotland tackles. It's committed stuff from the dark blue jerseyed men but numbers are appearing and it's numbers are plenty for Argentina who will finish this pool match with a flourish through Felipe de la Vega well fitting in the end it's an attacking action which seals the deal for Argentina Revolt his scoring pass he's got to be the assist leader for Argentina all time He had a man outside him, but you could see it in his face. You could see it in his eyes. That wasn't going anywhere outside De La Vega on his first HSBC World Series event. And his try makes it a match beyond doubt. Argentina defeats Scotland 29 points to 14.